Temperatures climb quickly heading into the 80s by mid morning and then we'll see another shot at some 90s throughout the interior this afternoon with all of this sunshine. Low 90s could be the hottest air temperatures of the week in the low 90s for Providence, Fall River and Taunton reaching the low 90s in a lot of spots in Providence County, Bristol County, Mass and the closer you are to the coastline again heading into those 80s. Eventually we will see some storms fire up to our northwest for us. They kind of fizzle out as we head towards the later evening hours after the sun has gone down. So we're not expecting to see any severe storms out of this, maybe a few isolated showers or a thunderstorm later this evening. This does not help to cool us down at all, though. We actually continue to see temperatures stay in the 70s overnight with that high humidity, and we're heading into another day in the 90s tomorrow. If we do hit the 90s today and tomorrow, which is most likely, it'll be our second heat wave of 2024. But the biggest hazard for us with this weather alert is that heat index, the heat and humidity paired together today, feeling like the triple digits away from the coastline and tomorrow much of the same as we head back into those low 90s away from the coastline. We'll be seeing heat indices inland reaching a range of 100 to 105 in some areas. Now, eventually tomorrow is a better chance at some storms. Still the strongest storms will be highlighted in yellow here well off to our northwest portions of Connecticut and western Massachusetts, but we still have that storm risk for tomorrow tomorrow evening and a better shot at some rain Thursday that helps to cut down our heat and humidity. So we do get clipped by an isolated few storms Wednesday midday and then into the evening. A lot of the stronger storms expected off to our north, but we still regardless could see some scattered showers again. The better chance though will be a bit of a damp Thursday for us. Couple scattered showers and thunderstorms in the morning, but we do clear up as we head into the afternoon and with that our humidity is replaced by much more comfortable air in place Thursday night and especially into Friday and heading into the weekend dry weather and low humidity persists for us with high pressure being the dominant feature for us. Two more weather alert days and temperatures in the 90s until we fall back to those more seasonable 80s for the end of the week.